Hey everybody, it's me Rodney. It's me Missy. From Rustique Relics. That's right, from Rustique we Relics. Always, we always forget to say that we at the beginning say, of every video. Yeah, we don't say where we're from. We think yeah. that that probably should be important. Rustique Relics in Clanton, Alabama. So That's how's right. everybody doing today? Yay. I see somebody's been on here early. Jay. Jay. Marilyn. <laughs> hey Tina, how are you doing today? Hi Tina. Sharon, how are you doing? Hi Sharon. All right. So, um... Do you want to talk about, I'm going to talk about what we're going to do. Yeah, go ahead. So, um, it's kind of an easy craft and I'm kind of excited to do it. And I think, um, anybody should be able to, you know, pull this off at home, uh, with a few items. Okay. So I got the DC bill paint and a stencil and a deck posh paper. <laughs> All that came from rusty acrylics. Yeah. But, um, I have a, just a blank uh, egg thing that you can find these anywhere, Dollar Tree, Walmart, that yep. kind of thing. And then I always get these little um, cutout craft things whenever I find them, especially for really, really cheap. Then I have a piece of scrap wood. So we're just going to make... And you can get those things at Walmart as well yeah. for like $1.50. Yeah, so we're just going to make a little... Um, well, Easter craft thing. And then I picked this decoupage paper mainly because this is the last one I haven't used. So that's the one we're going with today. And you want me to show them the first one that I did? Yeah, show them the first yeah. one you did. Okay, so this was my prototype She did some one. experimenting. How are you doing today, Karen? Yeah. You can see it. Yeah, that's my prototype one that I worked on today. So I thought it was cute. So that is decoupage paper, but it's actually um, something that I had already applied to um, the drop cloth. So I used it instead of using a different decoupage paper, and then I just glued it onto the egg. Well, I used Mod Podge, but I let the fray around the rabbit just kind of hang out. And then I have this little butterfly cut out that I just painted and put on there, and then I made a messy bow, and then just some carrots that are always laying around. So the stenciling part we're going to do again for sure tonight. This was my first one. This was a prototype and it just sits. Tina said it's so cute. I thought it was cute too. So I'm excited to do another one, but we're going to make this one a little bit different, mainly because I don't have all the same stuff. Well, I mean, I have drop cloth, but I'm going to do it differently because if I could, if I would have thought about it, I would have painted the back of this decoupage paper white so that would have been brighter yes. against the the egg. Hey Sandy, how are you doing tonight? Hi. So that's what we're going for tonight. We're doing another one of those. And this is what we're going to start with. So the first thing I'm going to do right off the bat is I'm going to use drop cloth and I'm going to give it a base coat, my egg a base coat. Even though it's white, I just want it to be even and I'm going to go ahead and paint this in drop cloth and I'm going to go ahead and give this a white background too. Even though my decoupage paper will show up really good on this light bright ground, I just want it to be as bright as possible. So I'm just going with drop cloth. I'm just going to put a thin coat on this. Karen says she's doing good. Uh, Marilyn said, wow, cute prototype. I thought it was cute. Thank you. So I did. I thought it was cute. And then Sandy said, good to see everyone. It hey, is good to see hey. everybody. It feels like, because we didn't go live last Friday, so yep. it feels like it's been a really hot minute since we've done this. And we didn't even get a video done. <laughs> mm -mm. And then it's been hectic, but the first of the month at the store is always really, um, it's always really crazy for us. So Yeah. And then when it when the first falls on a Friday, it's even on a weekend, you know, like that. It's even crazier, it seems like. It's better when it falls during the week. <laughs> Karen, bonding boss needs to cure for 24 hours before painting over 24 it. 24 hours. Let it sit. I have a piece that I'm fixing to put bonding boss on. <laughs> May May said, hello, friends. Guess what? Rodney just had a birthday, in case y'all didn't know. <laughs> That's right. Sunday was Rodney's birthday. Officially 42. 42. 42 years old. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Missy yeah. made me a pineapple upside down cake, so that was perfect. Yeah. Jay had a birthday too on That's March right. 1st. I make a really good pineapple upside down cake. She does. I was she eating does. it today and I was like, man, this is good. This is the best cake I can make. 
I said, <laughs> I was proud of that cake. It's good. She went all out, guys. She made meatloaf oh, with uh, right. greens and macaroni and cheese. Mm -hmm. She even had to do some stuff at the store. I did. I that took day. Care of the store. And then when she was done, she was like, oh, I'm so tired. I'm so tired. I said, yeah, it's, it's, it's hard to work and come home and cook some dinner. Usually I cook dinner when I get off. So that's usually what happens. Everybody yeah. said happy birthday to me. Happy birthday. And Tina said I was just a pup. Just a pup. Carol said I love pineapple upside down cake. Oh. Me too, Carol. My mom used to make it for me growing up and... Uh, now Missy makes it for me for I my make birthday. It as every year. It's usually the only time of year that I make it is for Ronnie's birthday, unless some by some Gavin asked for it two years ago. Yeah. By chance that somebody else asked for it. But I make mine in a cast iron skillet. Yep. Um two packs of cake and mix. It's a big cast iron skillet, so I have to use two packs of cake mix. So it's double everything. It's a carton of eggs and everything. But um it's good. It's worth it. It's worth all the work. Yeah, because she eats more of it than I do, which I is probably do. really, really funny. It's really funny because it is do. my favorite cake, but yeah. I can only eat so much. Like, she even adds the juice instead of doing the water and the eggs and the milk. She'll add the pineapple juice to it. Yeah, I don't, I use the and juice. And then she creates like this crust of pineapple, the I diced used, pineapple, and she uses whole the the pineapple rounds right in there. She'll put cherries in them, and then she'll coat that with brown sugar, so it forms this like crust coating of pineapple-y goodness. That's the only way I can describe yeah, it. Pineapple-y goodness, crushed pineapple. Yeah, and with the brown sugar, and I put the pan in there. The cast iron pan in there with a stick of butter. Yep. So by the time I pull it out, it's 350 degrees. And that's when I put all that pineapple and brown sugar mixture in there. And then it just starts caramelizing. And then she puts cake mix on it. And then it's just, woof. I don't know how to describe it. It's good. I'm going to go ahead and paint this because we're going to glue this to that. So Carol it can says stand she up. hadn't had one in years. And it, oh, wow. It sounds amazing. It's, I, ha I will. I will pat myself on the back on that one. Because I do cook a really good, I don't make a lot of good cakes. Sandy said, great, now I need some cake. <laughs> I'm not a baker. As I don't, I'm not a baker when it comes to that kind of stuff. But I can make a really good pineapple upside down cake. Super missy, Sandy said. Yeah. I felt like it that day. <laughs> that was a long day. It was good, though. It was all worth it. And then the meatloaf, too. Yep. And we did that on Saturday. Yeah, we celebrated it on Saturday. Yep. Jay said you could do a video on it. Oh, I probably could. Speaking of video. Then I'll mess it up. <laughs> Clack, Clack came by the store Saturday, uh, yesterday. Monday? Yesterday. Oh, yeah. Yesterday. So, Monday. Yeah. <laughs> wow. It's been a long day, y'all. Yeah. So, Clack came by yesterday, and he showed me these new glasses he's got. And so I've been on a mission, and I was going to go get them today, but somebody told me no. Tell them to wait. But it's really cool because it's got these cameras on both sides, so you can actually see. So like if Missy was to do a cake baking video, right, then yeah. you could see from her point of view how she makes the cake. And I thought it would be really cool because then we could get rid of the overhead camera. There you go. Yeah. We could get rid of the overhead camera and just use the uh, other ones. But then yeah. I got to thinking, that's not possible because you can only do it with Meta's uh, universe of oh, tools. Really? Yeah. Unless you download the video and then use it afterwards. On the green that, that I painted the base, I used mint julep just in case y'all wanted to know. It's really pretty. It's really pretty green. Really pretty for spring. May may say, goodness, even you're talking about clack vision. <laughs> yeah, clack he brought vision. it by he brought it by the store for me to look at. And I was like, holy cow, that is so cool. Yeah. And so when I it, yeah, it's Ray Ban. That's exactly right. Yes. That's what I wear too. That's the kind so of So their newest one lets you live stream to YouTube, uh, or you can record videos and then edit videos and put them online. So it was a, I'm not YouTube. Facebook. Facebook, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. it's part of the meta universe right. there. Right, right. So I'm going to set that over there. But yeah, I thought they were really super cool. So 
I'm, it says almost dry. It obviously it doesn't take long at all to dry, but I'm just letting it dry a little bit more. And then we're going to apply the stencil. We're going to put this stencil on top of it. And I was trying to look at the colors of this. Um, and I really like cottage door and I feel like it'll go good. They with can't the, see any of that. They can't see. Yeah. Any. You got it way too high. Way too high. You can go this way. I really like the cottage door. And I feel like it'll bring these pinks and stuff out. And, it, and it's just a stencil on the background. So, um, and we'll distress it a little bit and let the texture of the egg, the wood texture, you know, show through whatever. So that way it has just a little bit of distressing. But I think right. I'm going to go with cottage door. I think cottage door I think it'll good. look good with the pinks. It's, and it definitely goes good with the mint julep. Mame said, I would forget. A, I am streaming an old boy. That would be bad. That's it, Mene. <laughs> That's me. So, so my my idea would be to use it and then record the video and then edit the videos. I think it would make some stuff first. Like when I like when I was fixing a drawer, it was so oh, yeah. it's hard for me to record that. It definitely would. Um, and if I was wearing glasses that I could show me fixing that drawer, right. Then it would be a lot simpler. I it think. definitely would do that. Now you're working on that side, so I'm going to have to move your camera over to that side. I'm going to go right here. I'm fixing to do the stencil. Yeah. There's so just like one spot I can so still like see. So like right way. here and over you can work. Right here. Yeah, you can work um, right you're there. You're supposed to wash your stencils after you Hey, Lorna, how are you doing today? So just remember that. <laughs> Don't do this. Yeah, wash it. You should wash your stencils um, after you use them. The good news is it's mylar, so you it'll soak mylar off. in water for a little bit, and it'll rinse it's right off. It's chalk paint. Yeah. It'll well, rinse the, the, right off. This is mylar. Yeah, but that's chalk paint, so water will take it off, yeah, no and problem. Nothing, and nothing sticks to mylar permanently. Right. Yes, Jay, that is, you're exactly right, because how many times do they have to try to get the phone down there to show you in a mechanic video? Oh, yeah. Oh, let me go back down. Just make sure you line your stencil up. Where Lorna you says want she's it doing to. just groovy. Good, 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 good. Just groovy. Be like Brenda Berry, just peachy. <laughs> how you doing, Miss Brenda? Just peachy. All right. Is that, it looks straight to me. Does it look straight? It looks straight to me on camera. Because you know this line, but you really don't really see that line. So it just it's probably just me. Yeah, it looks straight. Looks yeah. straight to me. Looks straight to everybody else. Just groovy. So cottage door is what we're going with. And I'm gonna get a paper towel. And this is actually a makeup brush. Yep. Cheap makeup brush, bought it off Amazon. Yeah, it's just a makeup brush. But I say it doesn't shed. Yeah, that's it. It didn't shed, and it's got it's flat, so it works for what I'm doing with it for what I'm going for today. Lorna <laughs> said, "I want to be like Brenda when I grow up. Uh, just yeah. peachy. Yeah, definitely. Full of energy too. Yes. So here's the name of the brush." If you're looking for it, they're cheap. BS Mall. <laughs> we all do, Lorna. We just talked about that this weekend, May May said. Yes, we did. We did. We did. All right. And then um, I can't really tape this down, but I'm just going to hold it. And then in an up and down motion, I'm just going to stencil my design. Good evening, today. Judy. How are you doing today? And I kind of just um, use the paint off the paper towel to reload it and so, until I obviously have to dip it back in the thing. Now you're going to be distressing this? Yeah, I'm going to distress it a little bit. Just because it, I like how the texture of the uh, wood that's on the, th this egg is or whatever. It's not real wood, right? No, it's not. No. It's uh, really, really thin. MDF yeah. with a uh, fake wood coating to make it feel like yeah. really good wood. But I like how that shows through, so I definitely want to distress it so that way. May May said, wow, that brush works very well. Um, it does. I it, bet it's a good makeup brush, too. Probably is. <laughs> it probably is. BS Mall. 
can't believe that's the name of the brush company. But it's really good for this. So. Judy said, beautiful day here in New Mexico. Good deal. It was a weird day here in Alabama. Oh, well, we kind of got rained on. Rain and then, and then sun and yeah. then overcast. It was really muggy for Very a while. Muggy. That's why my hair is pulled back because it was, it's just, ugh. Jennifer Smith, hi. How are you doing today? Hi. Joining the, the Easter crafting thingamaduchi that we're doing. I really like this color. Yeah, I like it too. Mamie said I was expecting it to soak up the paint and not deposit. It did. Well, but it really does. Yeah, it really didn't. We, I like makeup brushes for doing dry brushing because it, it it's you're able to load it as little as you want. I would like it if it was a little bit stiffer, but I get it because it's a makeup brush, so it's not. I've used makeup brushes. Because I didn't buy them for this purpose here. Yeah. Miss is just using them for it. Because um, our bell brush is broken. Oh, I moved it. You just about got it. There you go, right there. Mm -mm. Got it. Yeah. Dead on. So, whew. That's stressful when you move your stencil. Don't move your stencil. We have stencil spray. We just didn't spray it. Not for some this, nah. Anytime you're going to be working a big area and you got a loose Mylar stencil, go ahead and hit it with some of that stencil spray and then uh, hit it against a, a cloth or any kind of cloth to kind of get some of that adhesive off of it so it won't, it'll be even less tacky than it's supposed to be. And that'll work out really good. And it works really well, too, when you can tape it down. I forgot where the stencil spray is. I'll show everybody what kind we use. It's in a red can. I think you can get it at Hobby Lobby. Or uh, I know you can get it from Amazon. Deborah Spinelli said hello from Ohio. Hello, Hi. Deborah. How are you doing today? Or tonight? This evening? I don't know why I'm trying to make sure I got it perfect because I'm just going to turn around and distress it. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> All right. Sandy said, that's a very pretty color. It is so pretty. Look how pretty it looks. As soon as she lifts that stencil, it looks really pretty. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm actually liking that more than I did the green on the other one. What? You like it more than the green? I do. No way. Tamitha said, gorgeous. Isn't it? I mean, you could leave it literally just like this if you wanted to. Like, it would be pretty just like that. It is very gorgeous. I have another thing, another cutout, a rabbit, that I would like to just do this to. Just stencil it? Just stencil call it, it day. yeah, because I think it would be really pretty just like that. Deborah said, love that color. Yes, this color is so pretty. That's Cottage Door. It's so pretty. Cottage Door by Dixie Bell Paint Company. Well, and I Lorna, we got the good. eggs at the Dollar Tree. Yeah. They we, were in the dollar twenty five section. You ran in there for that frame. A document frame. Yeah, I needed a document frame. For the Walmart store. didn't have any. So we ran in a Dollar Tree and I bought a document frame and then she saw those and so got I a couple like, of those. I wanna do these. And then we went back to Walmart and got these things. Yeah. So this is what I'm gonna put. I always buy this stuff though. These little cutouts. Anytime I can get them. We did not, Tina. We were gone all day. She asked if we watched May May's live. But I did she, make she it made to a watch. Bunny. I caught it for a minute. I got to go back and watch it. And then I saw that she had, um, she made um, reef scarves. That's reef, cool. Yeah, I saw that too. I haven't had an opportunity to. Our Facebook was down like everybody else's. So we struggled with that for a hot minute because. We didn't know what was going on we couldn't until see, I like, looked it up on um, outage.com. Comments or um, what you might call it, uh, messages through our Facebook. It was just very hectic in that way. So we were trying, we struggled for a minute to do that. And then Claire says she'd like it just like that. Yeah, I think it's very cute just like that too. I have a bunny that cut out like this. I'm going to do that to it. I think it's cute. You know, I was going to make that scarf. I fell in love with them. Oh, yeah, she did. They were so cute. The ones that she made are cute. I saw it. 
Okay. That's what I get to listen to tonight while I'm trying to lay down and go to sleep <laughs> is I'll hear May May talking because she'll replay the video. Replay the video. It's so funny because then she'll be like, look at this. Look at this. Okay, so I'm going to, I want to make sure that I keep the ears because it is um, like an arch or whatever. So you just want to pay attention to what you're wanting to keep on there. Did I answer Warner's question about the eggs before we got them? You said Dollar Tree. Okay. I just want to make yeah. sure. I say a lot of stuff. <laughs> That's what everybody says. I, I talk a lot. <laughs> you talk a lot. Um, so that looks good. I can see my outline. I got the full bunny ears. A little bit of the basket. The eggs. I got all three of the bunnies. Yeah. Okay. So that's what we're going to do. And what I did was I poured some Mod Podge in a bowl. You could do this two ways if you wanted to. You could iron it on. Um, or you can do it this way. This way works too. I'm just going to do this half. Because I got it exactly where I want it. So I'm just going to get this half Mod Podge. Yeah, so everything we got today either came from Walmart or the Dollar Tree, except for obviously the Dixie Bell paint and our our decoupage paper. Mm -hmm. okay. Huh? I must be missing some stuff. And I'm going to do the top part. Yeah, I am actually. I wasn't on live chat. I was on top chat. That's yeah. my fault. If I missed anybody's questions, I apologize. And we'll smooth it out. And then what we're going to do is use the sandpaper when this dries up a little bit. And we will sand off the excess. Yeah, so it's nice and smooth. Let me make sure that I got this this point. It's really good. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Make sure. Oh, oh, I keep on dropping it. All right, so, and then, well, and we can seal it up, but I'm not going to seal it up with Mod Podge. I think I'm just going to seal it up with a flat coat when it's all nice and dry, so that way it stays matte. Yeah. Instead of shiny. That sounds great. That's not, that's a great so idea. That's probably what I'll do. But I did use Mod Podge to get it glued down. So that way it would be nice and glued. Again, you could have used the iron-on method with this one. You would have just applied your Mod Podge to let it dry. And then put your decoupage paper on there where you wanted it to go. And then iron it on. But I don't have no wrinkles. So I'm really happy with it. It seems like it's really good. So I'm just going to let that dry for a few minutes before I go through and try to sand it. And... Uh, Tina said, I have two drop cloth bags she made that last week. Now she just needs the Easter decoupage paper and she's all good to go. Tina, I That's put... I put... I have, the deck, I have the Easter paper at the store. I didn't... Did you want me to mail it to you? with the uh, other stuff because I put it in the same envelope. And Karen said, I can't wait to decoupage with those bunnies. I got my order yesterday. Ooh, good, good. It got, yeah, it got there. I, look, I ordered it. Uh, everybody's, everybody's papers shipped out on the first. That morning. I, did, I ran it to the post office that morning. So I'm just distressing it. Not very hard. Just everybody except for Tina's because I packed Tina's up with the Easter Easter pack, and then it, like I said, it's at the store. So I don't know. Mamey May said I got some too, and I'm excited to use them. May yeah, May let me some. know how those worked out because I wanted to know if, if how those work out because I want to know if that's about the right size that I that I made those in because I want to change the sizes up for the future because right now we're doing full size sheets but I kind of want to change that model a little bit so it could fit more of what everybody's wanting to try to do especially for the the decoupage of month club because you know I just I don't know 
So it's just a little bit of distress. Can you see it in the camera? Yeah. Just a little bit of distress. And then the wood from the texture of the wood that the lines and stuff like that kind of show through. I like it just a little Mama bit. Mamay says she thinks they're perfect. Awesome. But she'll know soon. She'll know. And of course you can, Mamay. You don't have to, but you can if you want to. What? She said, can I make a video of them? Oh, no. I did, I, I, and I actually saved those as May May's. Uh, that's May what May, the title says. That's the title of my yeah. file is May May's decoupage. Paper. So should I leave that green or should I paint it? Should I leave it green? Because that's how I'm going to want to do it is like that. If you're going to put greenery on it, yes. That's what I was thinking about. You should about. probably stand up long ways, honestly. You come out like that? No, 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 no. Like, like that. Like that? No. Like this. Like that? Yeah, that way you got more strength. Oh, that makes sense. Just like you did the other one. Oh, is that how I did that one? Yep. I don't know. <laughs> she said, thanks, y'all spoil me. Yeah. I accidentally bumped the camera. Sorry about that. Yeah, that's when I stood up to move that. There we go. I'm going to I might be able to. Sandy said it looks good with the green. I think, I think it does so. too. Especially I like if it. you if you trim it with some greenery, like add some greenery afterwards. That's what I was thinking about. All right, so um, if you don't know, to just sand off your excess, you just use a piece of fine sandpaper and then just go in a downward motion. Judy says she loves working with the bunnies. She made some something and her family takes it. <laughs> That's what Missy used to do to her mom. That's exactly what She'd I make did. something, Missy just go and take it. Karen said, May May deserves to be spoiled. That's right. That's and May May right. also agrees the green looks great. I think the green does. And that green is what? Weeping Willow? That, no, that's Mint Julep. Mint Julep. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I should have known that. Mint Julep. Yeah, Mint Julep. I say it like that all the time. Mint Julep. It's Rodney's favorite color. I it painted, is my favorite color. I painted a little stool that um, is... Sandy said a green sorry silk bow, silk bow at the top would look really good. Oh. I don't have any... I don't. I just have my scraps over here that I'm going to make a messy bow out of. It's, I still have some of that striped fat. Oh, my hand cramped. <laughs> yeah, my fingers locked up. Um, that striped fabric. I was going to see about working with it with some lace and stuff. Just working with what I got going on. It was my fault. I knocked that off. It didn't that get ribbon. on it. It didn't get on mm -hmm. it. Mamay may said that you see color in Dixie Belle names. I do. As I told her, we were um, looking at something. I can't remember what it was. And I was like, that's kudzu. That's what she just said yeah. right here. I was like, that's kudzu. That's what color that is. That's kudzu. I do. I do see I do see color, colors in Dixie Belle. I do see colors. Oh, that's going to look amazing, look Missy. Look at that. So here's my thing is I'm going to need you to help me with that is make sure I get it lined up right so that way it's straight. Because you know me. Yeah, you'll put it on there crooked. I will put it on there crooked. Look, here's a line right here. Yeah, there's my line. That denotes center, and so does this line down here. So just take it straight down from there. About right there? Yep. Okay. And so. to the left a little bit. There you go. Well, we're gonna Perfect. Have to, I'm going to pick it back up because I oh. can put a glue. I'm going to use my hot glue gun and just hot glue it on there. Karen said, that's awesome. Talking about the the Dixie Belle thing. Yeah. I refer to colors by the ink colors I use, Karen said. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Let me wash my hands from that dust. And today, uh, Missy's actually pretty prepared. She's not going to have to get up and get anything. So no, I just have to wash She's just going to wash her hands real quick. Yeah. And it's kind of funny because I set all this stuff on the counter just in case she might use it. Yeah, yeah. Karen said that looks amazing, by the way. 
Oh, and you can I still like use it. some of this trim off here if you wanted oh, to. Oh, yeah. Like, if you wanted to do, um, like, the mixed media look, you could still use um, yeah, pieces see, of Sandy this. Yeah, see, Sandy's the same thing I, I was thinking. Yeah. Just mark it with a pencil right below smart. it. Smart. I don't have a pencil smart, on me. Smart, smart. I can find a pencil because I was using a pencil earlier. Yeah, it's over there. So, I guess we're not prepared. Smart, smart, smart. This one has no lead in it. We go so, through pencils in this house kind of crazy. But here, you look at it and make sure it's straight in your eyes. And then go ahead and make that tiny mark for me. I don't see as straight as he does. He sees straighter than me. I do what... Well, the hole's not actually straight. It's not, yeah. Nope. So if I had some clack vision glasses, I could show everybody what I was doing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. Y'all are okay. He's just making little marks. He can see straighter. Like if I, what I think, I can't cut in a straight line or anything like that. So, oh, I can't. All I'm right. Not so there's you. I did little brackets at the very bottom. Okay. Okay. So I just got to make sure it's. Take, take the drop cloth and paint it green and use that in the bow. Oh, yeah. That would Did actually do work. That, that yeah. was uh, Sharon Richardson that gave you that idea. Let me see if I can get this hotter. Lorna said, well, that's just brilliant. I never would have thought to layer them. Yeah. She actually was going to layer the original one, too. I uh, wanted a frame. It's, I went through my whole frame bag. I have tons of picture frames. Um, I'm not getting this hot enough. Um, and I really was wanting to do a frame of around it, and I couldn't find one that would be the right size. So that's when I went with... Okay, let me pay attention. Yeah, set your corners down on the two brackets and then lay it down. Those bunnies are adorable on that background, Deborah said. Yes, they are. Sandy said that's because of your creative brain. Oh, there you go. Easy peasy Easy lemon squeezy. Easy peasy. Okay, so you said do it like that. Yeah, you're going to need to glue it to that to keep it standing up. I would do all my other stuff first before I did okay, that. Okay, yeah, you're right. And I'll have to paint this. Well, if I do it like that. Because that would be the, this side yeah. would be painted. Yeah, so I don't have to worry about it. That's cute. Okay, so paint the green on the drop cloth so that way it all ties it in, right? That's what she said? Yeah, paint the green on your, uh, your ribbon fabric that you're going to use. I'm going to use some of this drop cloth and do it that way. And um, because I might not use that one. Well, just whatever you use. But this one will look good with it. And I can paint it easy. And then that does, that ties it all in together. Now, did you uh, did you wash that drop cloth? No, because okay. um, I had already cut it. That's right. You and don't I need said, it fraying apart. Yeah, and I said the next one, um, next time I go and pick another one up, I want to uh, wash it before I cut it. Let me see if. Warner, originally we were gonna glue it on vertically. But it won't. It, we she wants it to stand up on its own, so we need it to be wider than the base of the egg, so it'll actually uh, stand up. Kind of just gonna like dry brush it on there. Did we show the March decoupage paper yet? Uh, we uh, did last Tuesday on that video. We did, but um, I mean, I can show you the other ones. Um, but it's going to be missing one because I used it. Yeah, she did use it. Actually, and I could just show them on the screen. I could screen share. Okay, and yeah. And show it that way. Because, um, I don't, we haven't. And, uh, 
if anybody has uh, the type of printer we had, it died in the middle of printing the orders. Mm -hmm. So I had to make a quick trip. First, I had to contact customer service, and they were like, take it back and we'll replace it. Well, then I took it back to the store, and they didn't want to replace it. They was like, we don't replace printers. Now They're I want to do this After one six weeks or whatever. And I was like, well, I, I paid for a three-year service plan on this thing. And they were like uh, mm -hmm. calling people. And the next thing you know, they actually finally said, look, we'll swap that. We'll swap it out. But you, you gotta take, we got to take the cartridges out of this one. And I was like, oh, that's no big deal because I use the XL cartridges, the big ones. It was a... This is a big thing. I was in panic mode when that printer died because I've never had a printer die on me that quickly because we haven't run that many papers, maybe 300, maybe 400 prints max through that printer. Through that one, yeah. And it kept saying uh, this error. Critical about, error or something like first that. First it right? said that there, it was detecting the paper jam, and then it said critical error. I'm just going to cut this one in half. Ooh, I can't show it from here. Uh, show what? The decoupage papers. Oh, you can't? Nope, nope, because I would have to have it loaded into the store, and I, did, I don't have it loaded into the store. Yeah. Um, I can get the ones that I have. It's just missing one. Uh, but if we, if I don't show it, I, I, we can definitely show them Friday. Definitely, definitely. I meant, that's what we were supposed to do. We were supposed to make a video of those, and then the printer tore up, and then I panicked and totally forgot about it. That's my fault. So that, that's that's my fault, Tina, because I, I did. I panicked about the dadgum printer dying. Let's see. Well, it was panic. Was uh, let's go here. Let me go to screen share. Let me go to... Oops. Uh, Photos. There we go. All right, done. No, that's not working. Where's my cadaver? So why didn't that work? Let's see. Yeah. So then we're just gonna layer this up. I'm gonna do green. Green. And then Capture. I'll do one of these. Add source. Add source. With the stripes. And then a oh, uh, there we go. pink. Done. There it is. And then I'll put a ribbon in there. That is the decoupage papers. Oh, can you? Oh, did you do it? Yeah. You was able to do it? Well, I got the the one where I had all the five print pulled up. Oh, okay, okay. So you get the, the cows in the... Uh, right. The money cows? The, the money cows, yeah. The right money there. Cows. Right here. I don't know if y'all can see my cursor or not. I don't think you yeah you can. Okay, cool. You get this rooster in the top corner. Uh you get these these are three uh heifers right here on a uh <laughs> newsprint. You can't see the third one because these two that are on these are uh what would you call that? They're roughly five by set they're they're five and a half by eight inches is what they are, roughly. Well, five and a quarter by eight inches wide. That's about right. On these two images, the sheep and then the cow, the cow and the two bulls. And this one has two chickens just in case you wanted to be able to tear out the chickens and use the images separately. Right. So we're, we're just trying to change things up a little bit. Moo cows, Sandy Moo said. Cows. Tina saw them. She said, thank you. Cool beans. Yeah. But yeah, if Missy wouldn't have used it. I would have been able to show them. Then we would have been able to sh show them. Yeah. Which ones did you use? Uh, I used the, the sheep. And the money cows. Yeah, and the money cow. Yeah, so you've only been able to show three. Ah, oh, that's right. I forgot about that one. I, yeah, I forgot. The one would have been yeah, half a page. you did the frames. 
the ones yeah. in the frames. Yeah, one would have been a half page. I'm going to trim these up so they're the same size. Sharon said they're gorgeous. She got hers yesterday. Awesome. I'm going to trim these up so they're the same size too. So what are you doing? You're trimming those to make them the same size? Yep. If they're all the same size, it's not messy, is it? Well, yeah, but I don't want it to be... Some of them are really long. Because I just ripped them, you know what I'm saying? Yep. So I kind of need it to be... Also, if anybody's using Corel products and your programs are, are, are lagging... Okay, so Painter and Paint Shop Pro were lagging on me the other day, and it was a real a nuisance because I, I have my computer has 64 gigabytes of RAM. I have a i9 in a Intel Core i9 processor, of whatever generation this is. Oh, that was so smart. Who said to paint the the ribbon? How smart was that? Uh, that Sharon, was, Sharon Richardson. That was genius, Sharon. Because look how it all tied in together. And then when I put this green down here, it's going to tie down even more. Yeah, that's that's really pretty. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I painted this ribbon in the cottage door, and I painted drop cloth with, and I just like rough painted it, you know, like it's not perfect, but I, it's a messy bow. So I was wanting that to be frayed anyways. Um, I painted it in the mint julep. Gosh, that was so smart. I'm so thankful that you said paint it. No, that was a great <laughs> idea. And it does what? look really good. So should I add the carrot? I think you should add the carrot. I think the carrot's just too cool not to add. To be like in the center? Jay's daughter, Jaylee, says hi, everyone. Hi. Let's see if I can twist that. Just a perfect touch with those colors in the bow, Claire said. It is. Okay, so should I add the carrot? Tina said yes, add the carrot. Thank you, Tina. Tina makes the command decisions Thank quickly. you, Tina. So cute, Lorna said. So if you're, if you're having problems with your Corel products lagging, go to uninstall in the apps and go to repair and repair your installation. And that'll fix that. And then, let me make sure I didn't get, okay, yeah. I agree. Jennifer said about the carrots. Yeah. Deborah said, carrot looks great. I, lo I, I love the that. carrots. When I saw the carrots, and we got I got those at Dollar Tree too. When I saw those, I was like, I'm going to grab this pack of carrots. I'm sure Missy can do something with them. So this is basically almost a Dollar Tree craft, but with a little bit of rusty Carol relics. said the carrot is so adorable. I thought so, yeah. There we go. What is the string? So cute, Karen said. Okay, so you said keep it long, so like that. Yep, keep it like that. Okay. That way it'll stand up so I'm just without falling down. I'm going to add my hot glue back here. So cute. And I'm actually going to stand it up so you can center stand it, it up. and make sure it's level. Tilt it to the left a little bit. There you go, right there. Claire said, thanks for the heads up on Corel. Yeah, it was a real annoying thing because I was like, my co the computer I use to do all this stuff on is a monster. So it was really, I was getting really upset at it. Did I not do it right? You turn it around this way. So here's where we're at so far. Let me it might be my go to main camera. It might be this hot glue sticking up. Yeah, it's sticking up. Nope, you're probably going to have to unglue it. And your bunny's sitting crooked. It's, the, it's lined up in the corners. No, 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 not that. Your egg against the wood, the wooden thing that you just sat Let's down. Let's see if I can. Yeah, because it's not all the way set yet. It's not all the way set yet. Yeah. Yeah. So the easiest way to get hot glue off is to twist. Don't pull, but yeah. twist. Kind of like a command strip. I didn't have it all the way set yet. Okay. 
I'm going to let you line it up. Because I do not line things up right. I do not see things straight. Sorry, I just kicked the camera again. Okay. Do you want it? Do you want me to just put hot glue? Yeah, squirt hot glue on from here to here. It'll burn you. Right there. No further. And then whatever's left will trim up. With with yeah, the, uh, with the exacto knife. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's the problem right there. There we go. Sorry about that, guys. There you go. Yeah. And that's the way it needs to be. Straight up and down. Did it? Okay. I don't want to move it if I knock it over. It's still drying. Yeah. Because I can still see it. Let the it glue dry. From the and then, back we can, side. then we can just trim the glue yeah. with the. Uh, right. So they couldn't see us doing that over No, because so, you were over there. Yeah, that's my fault. But he was just lining it up on this piece of scrap wood. Now you could easily um, use it as a door hanger or you could put it in. Um, yeah, my idea was to hang it up like a door hanger. Yeah, or you could put it on a plate rack if you were trying to make it just stand up. I was thinking about for the mantle, for the fireplace mantle is what I was thinking about. So that's what Sandy I Sandy said, for. teamwork makes the dream work. That's right. Karen said, that's right. that is cute. Jennifer said, really it's cute. absolutely adorable. Yeah. I think it turned out really cute. And I see, um, I have the other things. Oops. Carol said, love it. Heart. Heart, heart, heart. Yeah. Hey, make sure you turn your hot glue gun off because it's smoking on the tip. Is it smoking on the tip? Smoking on the tip. So I was really excited. Well, see, I do have these cows. Yeah. And I do have the rooster. I have it on overhead cam right now. Yeah. I just have those. I haven't used those yet. See, she bought all kinds of stuff today. I did. This bunny right here, this is the bunny that I was talking about. You're just going to decoupage him, right? No. I mean, you're just going to stencil him, I was right? thinking he would be so cute with that stencil. Um, let's see what I'm doing. Ooh, right? You hear my back pop? I bet y'all could hear that on the daggum microphones. I think he would be um, really cute, stenciled. Why would I? Um, let me use a different brush because that one's kind of drying out on me. But I wasn't going to stencil his. Um, Ooh, you got some trash in that paint. It's because I had that thick, that brush. Oh, yeah. The, the, yeah. This brush. I will say that stuff like this does take the chalk paint a little bit different. And I didn't use water because I feel like um, I don't want to. Uh, what am I trying to say? Wet the surface. You're, yeah, you're afraid it'll ruin the I'm afraid ruin it'll the ruin the surface because it's not. Actually wood. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm not using any water. And these, this one was from Dollar Tree too, right? Yeah, I picked it up when I picked up that egg. This was the only one that I saw. Um, I probably would have got more than one of these. Just because they are... I like the cutout, and I think it's a good... Um, it's good to have, like, if, you to, if I wanted to cut out the drop cloth, this would be a good um, image to cut the bunny out of. You know what I'm saying? Right. Uh, what would you call it? An outline. That's what I'm trying to say. This would be a good outline. And it's got a little bit of depth of it, to it on its own anyways because the tail mm -hmm. is glued onto the top and then that earpiece is glued on as well. So right. it looks really cool. I think he did a great job with that egg one though. That was a great idea I getting like that it. arch. Yeah. 
I bet Kaylee will love that one. Yeah, I bet she will too. If you're worried about the if if you make one of those and you do the base similar to what we did, and you're worried about it getting a little tippy, you can always use some greenery at the bottom to kind of fluff it out, and that'll give it some something to just in case it leans forward, it can't fall fall over very easily. Mm -hmm. In the future, I would make a stand to put it in. There's a booth at the store that's got greenery in there for a great price. Really? Yeah. We never find greenery for a good price. Well, you can't have rusty relics in that booth. You're so funny. Where's the closest Dollar Tree to us? Uh, our closest one, we have one in Clanton. The one that we went to was Calera. Calera. Because we were coming back from Alabaster today. And... Uh, Missy likes shopping at Clear Walmart better because they have a larger selection. Like if you mm. want Baby Bell cheese, you're guaranteed to get it there. Yeah. And at our Walmart in Clanton, it's Not always sold guaranteed. out. The plus the our Walmart in Clear just got a whole remodel, so it's like a brand new Walmart. Yeah, and everything so, is streamlined. Yeah, so it's much. It looks uh, like a Walmart before COVID hit. Yeah, it's so nice to go into for for Walmart. Because it, it's still Walmart. <laughs> Walmart's can Walmart can be a little bit aggravating to go into, but that one's not bad at all. It's really not. They re, they read the model to Alabaster too. So okay, I'm gonna use Weeping and it, Willow. It's ginormous. The one the one in Alabaster is ginormous. I'm gonna use Weeping Willow. I'm gonna stencil this with Weeping Willow. The booth and rustic relics that has all the greenery is owned and operated by a super sweet lady. <laughs> it's May May's. It's, oh, is it? Yes. That's May May's. Uh, May May's booth. May May's little shelf. May May's greenery. May May's greenery. That's too funny. Yeah. It's a good one. I wonder. Lorna if says she sees a lot of houses for sale in Calera. Really? Yeah, I bet there is cuz you know, they I'm get that this. they got those three huge subdivisions now. Well, yeah, you're right. I forgot about that. Huge ones. I think it would be good to live on the south side. If I was going to move to Calera, that's what I would do. South side of Calera in between Calera and Jemison. Mhm. Mm I want to get these brushes in water. Somewhere before Manuka Park. And this brush. But that's me. Water. I got to go feed baby boy. Is home from the gym and staring at me. Y'all have a good night, <laughs> May May said. Bye, May May. Bye, May May. Did Dollar Tree have a plus section? Dollar Tree Plus. I don't know. I really don't run into Dollar Tree quite often. It's usually when I want tablecloths for the store when we're doing an event. Um, and I just ran in to get that frame. And then yeah. all this stuff was sitting to the right-hand side as you walk in the so store. I don't know if it was a plus section. Um, I think the plus section has the stuff that's like $10 and more, right? Or is I it $5 and more? I, I really don't know. I don't know. I, I know the one in Clayton, I would say, does not have a plus section. Um, because that's usually when I, the one I run into when I have to get, when I have to pick up. Yeah. That's calls. last minute stuff. Yeah. Though, table yeah. calls for like any kind of event. I it's just easier to go in there and grab one. So that way we can toss it when we're done. I bet you the one in Alabaster does. Possibly. That one's huge for a, do a dollar tree. That one's huge. Yeah. Tina said five or three dollars. Hmm. I don't know. I really didn't I pay think, attention. I don't I don't know. I really don't know. I would have to go back and see. Um, because I really didn't pay attention to that. Alabaster is about thirty minutes north driving sixty five. Right. Uh driving thirty one, I'd say forty five minutes. I just thought these were cute when I seen them. But yeah, I don't know. I didn't even pay attention to it. We just like I said, we were there to get the dadgum document frame because, like I said, Walmart was sold out. Yeah, 
uh, Tina said the one in Clanton doesn't have a plus section. I was wondering about the one in Clara. I don't think um, the one in Clara. Did, I would say honestly. that the one in Clara is nice, bigger, has more of a selection than the. And it was one well in, organized. I yeah. will say that that was a very well organized store. It has more of a selection than Clanton does because as often as I run into Clanton for that kind of stuff. Um, yeah. Yeah. It was most definitely. Uh, I think this will look really cute with this on there. Way more well organized. They didn't have a bunch of stuff sitting out in front of it or anything. I wasn't going to do this one tonight, but I guess I am going to now because I already started. Yeah, you already started. You might as so well I'm gonna finish. So I'm going to go ahead and finish it up. And now I'm going to use Weeping Willow on this one because I like... Um, I like Weeping Willow. Yeah, Weeping Willow's become one of Missy's favorite colors. And apparently a lot of everybody else's favorite colors too at the store. Because yeah, I'm constantly staying sold out of Weeping Willow and English Ivy. Yeah, we need to reorder it. Yeah, I just placed an order for it today. How about some duck egg? I had, uh, vintage duck egg would look really pretty too. I like duck egg. I think it's a pretty color. I'm going to... Mint if, julep. If duck I egg. can um, run back out there, I will run back out there. You know what this would be really cute is um, if you were making garland for like the mantle. Right. This would be really cute to make garland with, to have these strung up for Easter. I think that would be really cute. Yeah, they even had beads and stuff. Like bead strings there. I was really shocked. At some of the stuff they sold. I also checked to see if they had some of that uh, resin that everybody is always talking about, but they did not. I really like stenciling. Um, it's e I think it's easier with a bell brush. To me, uh, it's a lot. I I I just like it. It's fun. I think my favorite part is the reveal of when you pull it up. I think the worst part is when you have bleed through. Yeah. <laughs> they that's the worst part. That's where we learn not to use foam brushes at. Unless you're doing a small stencil. These larger stencils, it's easy to get bleed. Especially if you accidentally overload your brush. Because then you're pushing the paint under the stencil. Unless it's glued down. I remember used to, Missy wouldn't do the stencil and she would make me do the stencil. Mm -hmm. You were like better at it. This is really just about taking your brush straight up and down. And if your stencil's loose, now you don't have to worry about it if you got one of those that uh, right, the, the stays sticks, on there. Yeah. yeah. So what I'm trying to do here is... Um, which I can always paint over it as I'm trying to go because of that ear thing is right there. Dabby dab technique, Jay said. That's, That's right. right, dabby dab. Man, I drove my kids nuts saying that. Mm -hmm. Give it a little dabby dab. You want to sing that? I sang a goofy song too to go with it. It should be good enough. What about right there on that ear where your finger is? Uh, that's the raised up part. Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't doing that. Oh, part. you want you to do that? Mm -hmm. Okay. I wasn't doing that or the tail. Give it a little dabby yeah. dab, y'all. Let's see. It's on my counter, too. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah, we got the counter all dressed yeah, up. Yeah, the counter's going to be pretty, too. They can't see it. Nope. No, they can't see it. Well,. <laughs> It's already dried, probably. I'm trying to get it. So that's what she's got so far. Yeah. So I think... Deborah said, wow. It's cute. It is cute. It was a good idea you had. 
Um, I think if you took the stencil and took it, and made it 45 degrees, and then come back over it with a different paint, I think that would look kind of cool too. Yeah, I think so too. Well, I put all my brushes in the. Um, I put all my brushes in the sink. But what I and plus I need to let it dry a little bit more. But what I would like to do is go back through and paint this white, is which I didn't paint it the first time I dropped off. Um, so that way my tail is just solid color. And then you, it would be kind of cool to do this in pink. Yeah, that would be cool. Yeah, to soft do, paint. To do the. Hey, right, you could do it in the cottage door. You have it right there. Right. Let me see if I can grab one more brush and at least do the ear. Maybe next time we should put a whole pack of brushes out. Maybe. Maybe we should. Jennifer said, I really like the egg, but I think I like the bunny more. I really like the bunny. But I was thinking about just a little bit of a pink. Now I'll cover up over, over any of that uh, stencil that did get on it. Yeah, that looks good. And then I think I would like to um, just hit it with the sandpaper after it's all the way dry. Just a little bit, just to distress it a little bit. And then I definitely think I would probably go through with my brown wax brush and just not load any wax on it, but just go around the edges of it and just to shadow that. Yeah, just give him a little bit of form with just a little bit of shadow. Um, I mean, like very light, not even load my brown right. wax brush. Just use whatever wax is on it. I think it looks, it, it turned out really good. White. I like the, I like the egg more though, but that's me. I think the egg is so then cool. Then he could, I mean, you could set him up. I don't have them. Sandy said he did the stenciling just right. Yeah, I think so too. I like it. I thought I had another wood block up here, but I don't. But no. even though, I mean, I have one outside. But even with the wood block, if you want to go to that camera, and put a wood block right there, and then put some florals. Up. There you go. I think he would be cute. Karen said, Sandy said you did the stencil on just right. Karen said, love the pop of color on the ear. I think so, too. And I think once you paint his tail white. Yeah, I think that when really this pop. right here, um, I need to get my brushes, but... Um, I paint this right here drop cloth and then like I said take my dry my brown wax brush and just go around the edges um, just to kind of dark wax them a little bit around it give them a little bit of shadow and distress it just a little bit and I probably could go outside and get another one of those blocks and um, glue it to the back of him and then put some I think some florals coming out between his feet that stuff would be super cute. That's just a stencil. Yeah, that's just a stencil. And then this is stencil. Oh my God, it lined up. Yes. Yeah, you're lined up. I'm trying to get them both to stand up. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I did it. I it won't fall backwards because the base is too yeah, wide. I was if just it was trying behind to, it, it would make bunny. it fall forward. That, that is I cool. Think it's yeah. cute. It looks really good. Or he could be a door hanger too, or just a little hanger. Yeah, he's got a hole in him, but I don't think he would hang evenly from that mm -hmm. hole that's up in his no. ear. No, nah. -uh. But Tam said yes to all that. You have my address, Lord. There you go. Yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> that is my Tuesday night craft for you guys. So. If you don't have any, go to Dollar Tree and get some, a little cutouts. I think it'd be cute. A little cutouts. The little arch came from Walmart. Yeah. The uh, carrots came from the Dollar Tree. And then everything else we just had. But the ribbon, painting the drop balls for the yep, ribbon, that was, that was perfect. That was Sharon's idea. Yes, that was perfect. Tina said, beautiful. Thank Karen you. said, such fun projects. Thank you. Thank Jay you. said, 10 out of 10. Thank you, Jay. Yeah. Deborah said, great job. Love them both. I think they're cute. I think they'll, he'll be really cute. I wasn't planning on doing him tonight, but I was just like, I already had the stencil out and everything. Why not? Sharon said, love them both. Looks great. I think they're cute. Yeah. Lorna said, knocked it out of the park. 
Judy said, I love them both. Thank you. I like them both, sweet. too. You did a really good job. Yep. That is all I got for you guys tonight. They're here. I'm, that, here. I'm, yeah, here. I'm talking to you. Yeah. <laughs> That is all I got for you guys tonight. And as always, I come, um, always, always, always appreciate y'all hopping on and watching us and hanging out with us and just crafting with us and sharing your ideas because y'all kind of, y'all helped me a lot in the process. Heck yeah. I mean, it was plainly obvious tonight with the, the, uh, the ribbon, the ribbon idea. That was great. It was great. It was really great. Um, We'll for sure see y'all this Friday yep. at 11 a.m. For yep, sure. For sure. And we'll get those decoupage papers printed out for the decoupage of the month paper uh, club members and put those so I can show those to you again Friday. Um, and if you're interested in joining decoupage of the month a club, it's in it, the link is in the description. And uh, all the details are there for that. And you still have until the 15th to sign up. And then after that, it'll be a, uh, you won't be able to, you won't get a shipment until the following April. month. April. Yeah. yeah, April. Well, all right. Thank y'all guys for hanging out with us tonight. That's right. Thanks so much. And we will see you guys Friday. Friday. Bye, y'all. Bye.